All right, shalom and praise be unto you, whole Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rechak Wadash. Double honors unto the elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, who will warn you to us this truth. Um, Salutes so unto the 144,000 and the rest of the elects, and uh, brothers and, and sisters listening and learning at this time. And uh, this is going to be a quick one here on the uh, um, UK economy. And, um, you know, <clears throat> it's very important to. Um, keep a close eye on you know the state of economic affairs um in-house within particular economies um the world economy and things of that nature because it all feeds into uh biblical prophecy now of course i mean some brothers will get into it more than others but um is very advisable um even as stated by the elder apostle to hard to have to be abreast with what's actually going on um in an economy um dare i say uh <clears throat> a major economy to keep up to date with would be uh, the uk economy um because this is out here in england is the um the headings of this devil's financial hub, okay, and um, <clears throat> uh, believe it or not, when things uh, get continually turbulent in England, you know, that's when they start to worry, okay. England is really the, um, the, the measuring stick for his comfortability, you know, or for his cause for concern, all right. Because um, the financial side of the of this uh, beast <clears throat> really originates over here in England, man. Anyhow, it says, and this is from the BBC, it says, UK economy falls unexpectedly in October as a higher rates bite. October's come and gone and they've done the analysis looking back and seen that the economy has shrunk. Right. It says... Um, the UK economy shrank by more than expected in October as higher interest rates squeezed cost, uh, consumers and bad weather swept the country. The economy fell by 0.3% during the month after growth of 0.2% in September. So that gives you um, a 0.1 difference. But as they say, um, 10 steps forward, 15 steps back, you know. Um, after seeing growth, that growth um, quickly dwindled down um, because the the shrinkage is more than the growth. So the economy has gone backwards, man. Household spending has been dented by rate rises as the Bank of England tries to tackle inflation. It is due to make its next rate decision on Thursday. Meanwhile, retail and tourism were hit by severe weather in October, a storm, uh, is it Barbet or Barbet, I don't know, lashed the UK. Okay, so it says most economists had predicted that the economy would shrink by just one, uh, 0.1%, but the services, manufacturing and construction sectors were uh, all contracted. Um, <laughs> so the UK economy has been stagnant, stagnating, rather, and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has promised to speed up growth. But no significant pickup is expected until January 2025, by which time the, the next general election uh, must be held. Okay, so um, then you've got it here in um, graph format, you know, um, so the economy over here is shrinking, man. Um, and it's, you know, causing for more austere uh, measures within households. You know, people don't want to eat as much, can't afford to eat as much. People don't want to heat the home as much, can't afford to heat the home. And things of that nature, man. People can't buy things, you know, they, because... Um, it's affected by a GDP, which is gross domestic product now. As citizens, everyone has a personal GDP, which is pretty much 
um, your value and output to the economy, which then results in how much you make. Likewise, you have it on an individual level, individualistic level. You also have it on a um, economic level. The GDP of a country is the productivity of the country and how much it makes according to its workforce. Um, but people are working, but the value of uh, of money is a uh, is a uh, um, dwind- dwindling away. Okay, that's essentially what's going on, and. Um, you know, um, it's called TVM in economics, time value of money. As the value of money changes over time, um, you know, the economy, as you know, it changes, you know, what, what, uh, you know, what, what, what a 10 pound could do 10 years ago is completely different to what it could do right now, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I remember when, uh, <clears throat> quite some years ago now, but I remember when I was in school and you could have a £10, right? And that £10 could last you for lunch money for the whole week, okay? You know? Um, and, uh, yeah, man, that £10 was going far, man. <laughs> you know? But, um, now, £10, man, you buy a bottle of water and a chocolate bar and you got like two p left, man. You know, so the the value of that ten pound is this the same ten pound, but the value's changed. You know, um, cause it's just it's just notes, man. It's not real money. It's not real gold or silver. It's not weighted. It's not real pounds, man. It's just representative, but the representation changes according to inflation. You know. Uh, it says uh, interest rates are at a 15 year high of 5.25% unexpected to remain high for some time now I mean when you get into economics percentage percentages it only takes a small amount to see a big effect you know I've said this before you know 1.5% is massive in economics 2.5% is massive 0.7 0.7 is massive, you know, if you start getting into 2 and 3%, that's, that's, um, what's the word, that's real extravagant, you know, those would have big effects in real life, um, finance, you know, there was a time where calling out numbers like 5% is ridiculous, man, that, that's, that is, that is unbearably high, that's impossibly high, man. Inflation rates, now you got people, they can't pay rent, they can't, they're withdrawing benefits, man. Okay, all kind of housing benefits and other benefits, they're, they're attracting the, these benefits that people used to be on. So people are having to just live off what they make, but what they make ain't enough, man. You know, the scriptures uh, speak about that, man, and a bag with uh, holes. Uh, so lock here. Bag. This is the book of Haggai, chapter one and six, and it says, "Ye have sown much, but bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And ye that earneth wages, earneth wages to put." Into a bag with holes, right? So let's let's break that down, man. You have so much, but bringing and bringing little, meaning you got people that are working all kind of hours. You got people working fifteen hours on the clock. You know, out of a twenty-four hour day, they're working like twelve hours, fifteen hours. You got people doing multiple jobs. They are leaving one job to go to another job. You got people that do the nine to five on the week weekdays, Monday to Friday, and then. Saturday and Sunday, they got a weekend job just to catch up and, you know, make a little bit more money, you know, so they can feed the, the, the children. You know, that's what's this state of what's going on. But bringing little with all the extra work and you can't see the reward of it. You're not really seeing the financial benefit of it, you know. 
It's it's a it's a matrix. It's a matrix, man. It's a it's a it is, that's what it is, man. You know, you're working harder. You're doing overtime, and um, in the grand scheme of things, you don't even see the benefit of it. You eat, but you have not enough. You know, people are surviving out here. And the way that I see that, was it a clip I saw? Man, it may have even been a brother that put it up. I can't remember if I saw it on YouTube or if I saw it on Instagram. But it's something I saw a couple of days ago, within the last two or three days. But it was saying people in the UK, they're not living, man. People in England aren't living. They're just surviving. That's what they're doing. They're just surviving, man. You know, yeah, you eat and you drink, but people ain't, people are always like, is it called the bread line? People, they, people are always suffering, man. Rationing things out. Yeah. You, you clothe you, but there's none warm. You know, you know, the clothes ain't working out, that the heating in the house, you know, people are still cold, you know. So it's an illusion. You've got a job. You you're making a earning a, a salary. You know, you got clothes. You got food. You know, but you're still on the, like you still got the knife to your throat, as it were, versus the economy, because at any moment you could lose any of it. People are just surviving out here, not living, man. You know, and that's people called prophecy. He that earneth wages. Um, earn if wages to put into a bag with holes. That's your all your taxes, man. You know you can make. You know you got your gross and your net salary you take home every month. You know by the time you pay all your taxes, right? They they will either be, you they subtract it before the money even gets to you. They'll tell you yeah you've made this, but really and truly, you know you've made like way less because they've taken all kind of taxes out of it. Uh, if you was a student and you studied at university, now you've got to pay that back. That's automatically taken out. And I all these other government tax. And then uh, you've got to pay your bills. So by the time you finish paying your bills, you know, you may have... It depends on what kind of job you work and how much you earn. But you have significantly less than than what you, on paper, made that month. So if you put stuff in a bag, but the bag's got holes in it, you know, by the time you get home, half the content is gone because it went out through the holes. All the holes represent taxes, the holes represent bills, all kind of surge taxes, all kind of things where your monies get uh, retracted from you. And by the time you get home, there's hardly anything left in that bag. That bag would represent what? The bank account, man. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue to get worse out here. That's why the chip, I'm not going to get into it in this video, but the chip will pose as salvation. The chip will be financial salvation, man. Okay. And uh, not only are you going to, you know, get kind of like forced to take it, but you're going to be seen as mad for not wanting to take it. This is where faith is going to have to kick in because they're purposely crashing this economy slowly but surely, you know, all that chaos so that the chip can be like the, the golden salvation for the world, man. <laughs> and anyway, that, I'm going to wrap it up, man. But yeah, man, keep it out in the UK, England. England's crumbling, it's suffering out here, man. And that's a biblical prophecy. I'm um, sure.